Tonight, searchers have recovered the body of the two-year-old boy that was snatched by an alligator at Walt Disney World. The boy was attacked yesterday, last night, when he was wading in shallow, shallow water at the Disney Resort. The boy was identified as Lane Graves. His family's from Nebraska. The search team grew to 50 people today as trappers and divers searched Disney's network of man-made canals, ponds, lagoons. At least five other alligators were caught and cut open before they were able to find the killer. Right now, our Brett Hall joins us live. He's at the Wild Animal Park in Chittenango talking with an expert on handling alligators. Brett. Yes, very much so. We're here actually with Jeff Taylor, who owns this park, and uh, there's nobody that doesn't like to hear this news that we heard today more than you as you educate kids from two years' age to to my age uh, on these creatures that, that you handle very well. I mean, this is must be terrible news to hear. Yeah, it's horrible. I mean, anytime you hear something that happens to a kid is a tragedy, and then what happened the way it happened is just a bad situation. And so when you deal with alligators in the southern states that they're most prominently in, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, is it one of those things where if you don't bother them, they won't bother you, or is it not that simple? I mean, you want to, everything changed with them. They're driven by instinct to hunt, to kill, to eat. So everything, all the different variants add up, what time of year it is, where they are, if they're hungry. But in general, if you stay out of their areas, the water, the fresh water, that's where they're going to be. They're not going to be in the oceans, the salt water. But once you're wading in a foot of water, water at night that's their element that's their time that they hunt they have great night vision you won't hear them coming up on you so they're they're very silent and stealth and they'll come up and you really don't have a chance especially if, if it's a six seven foot gator in which they're saying so what you're saying almost is when you travel in the summer months when peak tourism season is is when they're even more dangerous yeah absolutely they're uh, cold blood so their body temperatures way up they digest their food faster so they're hungrier um, they become more aggressive, and there's less water in the hot, dry season. The, the, the ditches are drying up, so as the water areas shrink down, all those gators have to find a place to go. So they'll go to areas where there are people mm -hmm. where there normally wouldn't be, say, the winter months. So right, well, thank you, you very much. I really appreciate thank your you. time. We're here live at the Chittenango Wild Animal Park. Back to you, Matt and Megan. Descriptions. Thank you, Brett.